Over the last three years in particular, my world has completely flipped upside down. Nothing, I perceive nothing in the same way that I saw for most of my life. Um, and uh, I've come to realize that the real lessons of this earth life are learned when God stops answering your prayers. While we have quote unquote God showing us favor by answering our prayers and granting our wishes, we don't actually learn anything, nor does our soul grow. We're just like um, children that get their candy and revel in the moment of the sweet experience, but it does not facilitate soul growth. It facilitates only ego growth. I know we don't perceive it that way, but your soul will only start growing once God stops answering your prayers, once God stops intervening and granting your wishes and stops to um, catch your fall. I know it wasn't until God stopped answering my prayer and I lost my mom to cancer. Even though we so strongly believed for her healing because she had been a person that experienced miraculous healings at least on three different occasions. So we were so expectant that it would be the case again with her cancer. But I watched her shrivel away to just a little bag of skin and bones. And God was silent. That is um, when my soul was forced out of the comfort, comfort zone of having God at my back. And I really, for the first time, felt abandoned by God. And uh, that was a move much like an eagle mother, an eagle parent, will throw their eaglets out of the nest. And this event surrounding my mother dying with cancer was God throwing me out of the nest into free fall and independence. And uh, that was the first stage toward independence and soul growth. And then three years after that, 
I met the person online that I later learned is my divine counterpart in Twin Flame, which means it's the same soul consciousness in two bodies. And this experience has been unlike any other and uh, it further accelerated my free fall into soul autonomy, soul recognition and soul independence. Um, and I fell further and further away from my previous notion of quote-unquote God or what I defined to be God, including Jesus. Um, these concepts and imaginations got whisked away as I stood face to face with my own soul, the mirror reflection of my divine soul. And I learned later on that meeting your twin flame is for the purpose of finding oneself. It is meant to drive us into the arms of our own soul. And this is the reason why my life and consciousness moved beyond Jesus, beyond the dependence of a savior, because my soul, being that it is the divine spark of God, doesn't need a savior. But I came here to learn and know my soul essence through the veil of my ego. And uh, God and Jesus were turned out to be constructs uh, that my ego um, developed around. And those things had to be swept aside and uh, so that I could uh, regain cognition and consciousness of the divine soul that I am. So this has been my journey over the last seven years, but highly accelerated since the last three years since meeting my divine soul in another body and then mirroring back to me everything that needed to go, that needed to be um, left and purged out of my life, that stood in the way of knowing myself and uh, I've come a long way that way. So, yeah, so just a little recap of how that worked. But the real soul growth happens when God stops answering your prayers, when God stops supporting you, and you have to use your own wings, your own divine wings, to learn to fly and realize who you are, who you really are, behind this skin suit. You are a magnificent divine soul, a manifestation of the Creator, and no less than the Creator itself. I hope this realization blesses you and doesn't just scare you, because there is an amazing life to be had with that consciousness.